So I've already gone ahead and applied my pink ombre wig. This one is from everydaywigs.com. I will link it down below. And then I'm going in with my foundation, which is the Collection Lasting Perfection Foundation in Ivory 2. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Then with a Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to buff this into my skin. To set my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in 120 and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to apply this all over to make sure the foundation is set and it's nice and matte. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Peace, which is a beautiful turquoise blue colour. Then with a contour brush I'm going to apply this across the top of my forehead going down one side of my temple and I'm going to try and blend the edges of this as much as I can. I'm going to bring it down past my temples and then going into my contour area and add in that depth. For the eyeshadow, I am taking the Kat Von D Chrysalis palette, which has beautiful purples and blues. I'm taking this neutral mid-tone brown colour and I'm going to apply this into my crease on the blue side. This will just add a nice depth to the eye instead of going straight in with blue. Then I'm taking this shimmery blue colour from the Kat Von D palette and I'm going into my crease with this. Now this blue did disappoint me, it is a bit darker than I expected so I go over the top with this in a minute. But for now I'm just going to blend this into my crease and going into the inner portion of my nose, just add a bit more depth. Then I'm going back over that same shadow with the Urban Decay shadow in piece, just to add more pop of blue to that crease because the blue was too dark for me. Then I'm going to apply that blue eyeshadow on its own all over the lid. I'm using this eyeshadow dry but you can use it wet if you want more pigment. Then I'm using the dark matte blue colour from the same palette and I'm going to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. I really want to add some glitter to make the eyes pop even more so I'm taking the E Unique Beauty Glitter Eyeshadow Palette which is the Valentine's Edition and I'm going for the middle glitter which is like a bluish silver iridescent it's absolutely gorgeous and this on top of the blue shadow really pops I find the best way of applying this is with my finger rather than a brush it just sticks a lot nicer And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take the Technique Colour Max Eyeshadow Palette and I'm using this white shimmery colour. Using a pencil brush, I'm applying this to my brow bone to make it really pop. And then I'm also going to apply this in the inner corner of my eyes again to make him look more awake and more wider. Now I'm going to move on to the other side of the face. I'm taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking the bright neon pink from this palette. I love this colour, it's so pigmented. And with this one, I'm going to take another contour brush and go down the exact same method on the other side of the face. So blending this down the side of my forehead, my temples and then going down into the contour. I'm blending the edges of the blue and pink together and it does mix nicely to make this purplish shade. So it has a really nice ombre effect. So I'm just going ahead and buffing this in. Then I'm going ahead to the next eyeshadow which is like a lilac shimmery colour. I'm going to apply this as my highlighter because it's a beautiful tone and it mixes in perfectly with the pink. It doesn't have a huge undertone of pink either, it's a lovely lilac tone so this matches really nicely as a highlighter. I'm placing this on the highest portion of my cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and again on the other side of my cheek. So you can apply this to the blue side as well because it has that nice shimmer.
Using the nice soft mid-tone brown colour, I'm going to apply this into my crease on the other side. This just adds a bit more depth and dimension to the eye instead of using one flat colour. Moving back to that neon pink, again using the same brush just wiped off onto a towel, I'm going to apply this into my crease using circular motions to blend back and forth and I'm also going to apply this very slightly on the inner corner of my nose just to add a bit more depth and dimension. Also applying this underneath my eyes as well and then matching it up to the top of the eyeshadow. Moving back to that lilac-y shimmery colour, I'm going to apply this all over my lid using the finger so it has more pigmentation. Going back to that glitter palette, I'm taking this beautiful pink Barbie colour and using my finger again, I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And then same as the other eye, I'm going back to that Technique eyeshadow palette and using that white shimmery eyeshadow. I'm going to apply that onto my brow bone again and the inner corner of my eyes. Moving on to my eyebrows now, I'm taking the Freedom Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe and I'm going to use an angled brush with a spoolie on one end just to brush through my eyebrows and fill them in and make sure they look nice and full. I felt like doing a winged liner today so I'm taking the Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to do a wing on both eyes. Moving back to that pink eyeshadow now, I'm going to apply this down my neck. I felt like the neck was a bit bare, so I wanted to tie this in with the ice cream look even more. So I'm going all the way across my jawline and then bringing it down onto my neck and then slowly fading the colour out. So the most pigment at the top and then fading down to nothing. For my waterline, I am taking the LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner in black. This is an amazing black eyeliner pencil, I think this is one of my favourites. So I'm going ahead and applying this on my waterline and then for my eyelashes, top and bottom, I am taking the MAC Extreme Mascara in black. I'm going to apply a generous amount of mascara to my lashes. For my lips today I wanted to go pink so I'm taking the Illamasqua Matte Lip Liquid in Forbidden and the brush on this does spray out a little bit so it's not the best brush in the world but I just apply this to my lips and let it dry matte. For my eyelashes I am taking the Fern Lashes in Astrid which are the volume lashes. Then I've gone ahead and used the NYX Vivid Brights liner which is in Vivid Petal and I'm doing a single stripe down the centre of my bottom lip and then bringing it slightly down a bit more to a point. I felt like it really needed something on the lips so I applied that down the middle just so it really highlights that. And then over the top I'm using the Essence Crystal Liner in Rosy Rush which has a really nice pink shimmer and on top it even highlights it even more.
and then I'm using the same shimmery liquid and I'm going to apply this down the high portions of my face again so down my nose, pat in with my finger and then onto the highest points of my cheekbones really makes the highlighter pop even more Then I decided to use some sprinkles because, you know, for the ice cream look, I thought sprinkles would be perfect. So I'm taking some lash glue and the one I'm using is an eye love. I love this one. I'm just applying it onto my cheeks and then blending out with my finger and then applying the sprinkles with my finger on top. Just pressing into my skin very gently. And then after about 30 seconds, this is nice and dry and it won't budge. Do the same on the other side of the cheekbone as well. And then last but not least, I am taking the Snazaru face paint in sky blue, which is a beautiful turquoise colour. Then taking a jug of water, I'm going to soak my brush in the water and then allow the paint to just flow down my neck. You really want to tilt your neck back as far as you can to get the drips to go down your neck instead of just falling down at a weird place. So you really want to make sure you get the angle perfect. And then the star of the show, how to make this ice cream melted hat piece. So for this, all you needed was some liquid latex and then I'm using a tray or a surface that's hard. I'm just pouring out some latex onto the surface and then using my finger, I'm gonna create the shape of the drips just so it looks really nice and eye-catching. Once you have the desired shape you like, then you can use an ice cream cone and pressing down very gently into the liquid latex in the desired shape you want. Then you just want to let this air dry solid for at least four to five hours. If you try and peel this away before, then it still may be tacky and it might rip apart. Once it's all dry, you just need to powder it and then paint it in the desired colour you want. I use a Barry M nail polish and then I just use some sprinkles on top. To actually attach this to my hair, I applied a pink Velcro hair piece underneath and I just used some liquid latex to attach this and let that dry for at least an hour again and that way it's ready to use after it's all painted and finished. And then to apply this you just simply place it into the hair and because it's velcro it literally hooks at your hair and grabs it and it stays in place. Eyelash glue underneath the drip portion of this hat piece and then once the glue is on I'm just going to hold it down onto my face and make sure it's dry before letting go. So that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this ice cream drip Halloween makeup tutorial. I'm so in love with this. I love the colours. It looks so girly and beautiful. I wanted to do something for Halloween that wasn't just gory and gross. I thought this one would be a really nice change if you are looking to do something more glam and girly. This is definitely a favourite of mine. So I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.